Dear students, now we are going to look at a problem which is number 15 on um, zero knowledge proof protocol. So here we have an attacker who is trying to log in or show that he can, he knows the password but he really doesn't know the actual password. So he manages to get authenticated without knowing the exact password. Okay, And the probability that he can do per trial is 3 fourth. Okay. So this is similar to that uh, Peggy Wiki problem of zero knowledge protocol. The probability that in this case she can get through without knowing the actual password is one half if you remember that we discussed in class. So same way in this uh, question, uh, in the question bank the probability the user can manage through without knowing the password is three fourth in a particular trial. So um the probable user managed to get authenticated with top per trial thought the password is three fourths. Now we have five trials as given in the problem statement over here. Okay. Uh what is the probability that um the user will get authenticated for all the five trials without knowing the password is going to be three fourth for each trial. So three four, three four, three four, three four, and each trial is conducted independently, okay. So that's why when you do independent trials, you multiply the probabilities. So that is three fourth rise to five. Okay. So now, what's the probable user will be caught during any of those five trials? Because we need to catch him on just one trial and then say you are not authenticated. So probable the user will be caught in any of those five trials for not knowing the password is one minus the probable the user managed to get authenticated for all the five trials. For the user, he has to manage to get authenticated for all the five trials without knowing the password. Okay, so that's going to be one minus three fourth rise to five. So this particular term, as it is going to be, if you do the math, is going to be point two three seven. So one minus of this is point seven six three. So as I say here, even though you have what this is a 75% chance that you could manage to get authenticated without knowing the password in any particular trial, but as we increase the number of trials, we see that the user is more likely to get caught uh, in any of those trials. Okay, so that's why even though you have a simple authentication function, you increase the number of trials, the user is more likely to get caught. Okay.